I said, Lord, Joe Biden don't need to be president. And just like this, just like if you'd answered me, he said he won't. Will President Trump, from what God is showing you, win his second term? Uh, yes, it is it's for sure, uh, Sid, that God wants uh, President Trump in. God has already sealed the results of this election. He has sealed it in heaven. Tracy, is President Trump going to have a second term? Well, it's the same thing similar to Kevin, yes. I want to say without question, Trump is going to win the election. Trump will win. He will be president of the United States. He will sit in that office for four more years, and God will have his way in this country. The Lord said to me, I am going to give your president a second win. Whoa! In the third dream, he said, I need for you to be my running mate for my second election. And the Lord said, because what I intend to do through him, it will take two terms to do. And I need for you to run with him in the spirit to see that everything is removed out of the way that would hinder that so that he is not only finishes this term, but is reelected for the second term and can fulfill the mandates of God upon his life. You said this one that I shall raise up from New York. I will give him two terms. God's in control. He controls everything, and I believe that involves Donald Trump being president for the next four years. Will it be an eight-year presidency? Absolutely. Absolutely, we will. Uh, you're sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. Wow. He is the one. Joe Biden's going to win this electoral vote. Joe Biden is a winner in Vermont. Joe Biden in Virginia's 13 electoral vote. Joe Biden, he is the projected winner. Joe Biden is the apparent winner. Joe Biden as the winner. Joe Biden prevailing in the state of Georgia. Joe Biden. Joe Biden, the projected winner of Illinois. Joseph R. Biden Jr. is elected the 46th president of the United States, winning the White House and denying President Trump a second term. Well, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Are you kidding me? Let me tell you something. Every Christian, every pastor out there that voted for Joe Biden last night, you have bought a curse upon yourself and your family, your children, and your children's children down to the third and fourth generation, and you need to repent. These people are evil. I don't think you guys understand. They're evil. You vote these liberal leftists in and they worship the devil. They're evil. You talking about the Illuminati? They are the Illuminati. They're evil, wicked people. This is who they are. They need to go to jail forever, ever, for the rest of their lives. But the day is coming. You can't test God for too long. Joe Biden is not the president-elect. He never will be the president of the United States. I'm telling you, I promise you, with full, complete assurance and opinionated authority, Donald Trump won by a landslide. Quit freaking out. Quit fretting. I'm betting the farm on this one. You are the chosen one. Lord, if it be your will and if it be necessary, another election, another voting day, whatever it takes under your kingdom, oh God, to bring it all in line, bring it all in line, bring it all in line with the will of God. Strike and 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 strike until you have victory for every enemy that is aligned against you. Let there be that we would strike the ground for you will give us victory, God. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of shouting and singing. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory the lord says it is done the lord says it is done the lord says it is done we must not let the devil have the inheritance of this country the angel of the lord is going to go forth for america why because the president can't fight now you get what i'm saying he can't do it so the lord is sending his angel
For I hear victory, 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 victory in the quarters of heaven, in the quarters of heaven. Victory, 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 victory. For angels are being released right now. Angels are being dispatched right now. Hamanta ata ata rata de de baka sanda ata ambo osa tata rite eke banda ata rite didi asha da. Paula White King, that woman has spiritual insight. For angels have even been dispatched from Africa right now. Africa right now. Africa right now. From Africa right now. They're coming here. They're coming here. In the name of Jesus from South America. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. From Africa. From South America. Angelic forces. Angelic reinforcement. Angelic reinforcement. Angelic reinforcement. Pika hata anda ata ora bata rata anda eke eke manda rasata. The Lord says, Son of man, prophesy unto Wisconsin that it will go red for Trump. Prophesy unto Michigan that it will go red for Trump. Prophesy unto Pennsylvania that it goes red for Trump. Prophesy unto North Carolina that it goes red for Trump. Wow. Prophesy unto Georgia that it goes red for Trump. Prophesy unto Nevada that it goes red, red for Trump. Prophesy that the media will cancel the assignment to, to call the election. The Fox News decision desk can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden will win Pennsylvania and Nevada, putting him over the 270 electoral votes he needs to become the 46th president of the United States. Why are you attacking the prophets? No! I really want to apologize sincerely apologize for missing the prophecy about Donald Trump. Uh, I prophesied um, that Donald Trump would be president and then later on I prophesied that he would um, not be impeached and in fact that he would win another term and I was completely wrong. It doesn't make me a false prophet. The Associated Press said that Joe Biden is president. Ha! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to be president, and Mickey Mouse is going to be king. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> For I hear the sound of victory. 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 Paula White King. That woman has spiritual insight. We push back every agenda that would that would release a premature satanic agenda in the name of Jesus. Anything that would that would be of an antichrist spirit, we break it right now in the name of Jesus. Every antichrist spirit, we break it right now. Every antichrist agenda that is being pushed, we break it. We override it. We overturn it. We overturn it. We overturn it in the name of Jesus right now. God, we just declare that you will keep the feet of POTUS in his purpose and his position right now. We stop and we override the will of man for the will of God. That woman has spiritual insight. So this is a word from the Lord and he's not happy with what's going on. He's not happy with some of these things that have been decided and he's not happy with the, the opposite direction that he wants to go. And he's saying, watch me work. Yes, amen. Lord, we're going to see you yes, work in this. We are. We're going to Puny God. Let me be very plain about something. I am not going to abandon President Trump. If you think that Trump's radical evangelical base is simply going away now that Biden won the election, then you don't realize just how widespread this religious insanity goes. I'll still be here in the deep south pushing back, but I can't do this alone. I'm expanding Holy Kool-Aid and I just hired an assistant editor allowing me to increase my video output. And I'm working hard to grow the show even bigger, but I need your help.
Please go to patreon.com slash holykoolaid to make a per episode pledge or consider making a one-time donation on PayPal. I pour everything I can back into the show, so literally every dollar helps. Thank you, and as always, dare to be curious, but don't drink the Kool-Aid.